This is a follow-up video, part 1 is in the description. In version 1.5 the fixture garden was added, however it had one big issue. It was running like garbage for no good reason. This led me to investigate the issue further and because of this I have noticed that some areas are incredibly demanding without anything connecting these areas to suggest what can cause the issue. So I made a video discussing the issue and released it right before patch 2.0 came out. And as I was playing the game and farming the relic domain that is in the fixture garden, I felt like it looked different. I don't have any evidence to prove that it does, but I think they added more fog to the background. Regardless, it made me curious if there were actually any changes made to the fixture garden. And you have no clue just how surprised I was when I saw that the same area which was struggling to run at all during 1.6 was now running perfectly smooth. Now one thing that I forgot to do in the previous video was to show my graphical settings, but I can show you right now that all all of the settings are set to as high as they go and yet the area is still performing much better than it did last time I tested it. For some context, not only did the frame rate double in some cases, but it is now using less of my GPU. This is a massive improvement and I have to commend Hoyo for solving the issue, even if it took them a while. I think it was worth the wait. It is not perfect as the area is still not running as well as it realistically should considering how well Bellabog is performing with way more happening on the screen. And in case you are wondering, here is how the other areas that have performed subpar in 1.6 perform in 2.0. While I don't think that my video was the reason why Hoyo fixed the performance, I still think it will be an interesting thing to look back at in the future. And hopefully we will not have to deal with poor performing areas in the future. It seems like Pinnacony is running well so far, but I did not do any in-depth testing. But if you find any area in Pentacon that does not run well, let me know in the comments below. I know that usually in this series I throw out ideas on how to improve the game, but I feel like the devs deserve the praise after pulling off something as impressive as this. Regardless, I'll be back to throwing out ideas on how to improve the game next Friday. Until then, take care and goodbye.